Hello, this is Jim Phillips with Remember Veteran Grave Markers. As you can see behind me, there, there are plenty of white marble headstones. These are from our fallen. These are the guys and gals that served in the military and, and are at our nation's uh, cemeteries. Our national cemeteries are our kind of a gemstone. But for many of us who live, that live, we're not close to the a cemetery like this. We have the private municipal cemeteries that don't look like this at all. And in cleaning veteran grave markers, it becomes difficult because here you know that they're all veterans here. But when you go to a private or municipal cemetery, that's not the case. So it's important to be able to figure out which one is which. Now, for any of you looking at these behind me, those are the standard stones you would see that are upright. But there are those that are flat on the ground, flat markers, and then there are the bronze markers. And I want to talk about the bronze markers just a few moments. You know, the bronze markers I had just recently read on YouTube, you know, somebody had a channel and they had talked about cleaning markers with uh, a bronze, uh, let's say a, a, a brush, a, a wire brush and having some sandpaper. Now, now for me, it's like, those are two things. Why don't you just not put together S sandpaper and a wire brush on any of the uh, the grave markers and headstones, let alone on a metal uh, grave marker. So when you're looking at uh, cleaning veteran grave markers that are bronze, whether they're the earlier version of the pre-1973 ones or the after-1973 ones, none of those should be cleaned with a uh, a uh, uh, a wire brush. It is okay to clean them with uh, much like you would do for a uh, regular stone. Clean them with a soft bristled brush, natural fiber, or a uh, a nylon type fiber, but it's soft. But to use something that could scratch the stone and damage the stone or damage the marker. Uh, that's just, you know, a an anathema. You just don't do that. Uh, no um, person who is serious about doing what they're doing does. They don't. Uh, they don't find something. You know, one of the challenges we have is being able to share with the good-hearted, good-natured volunteers that want to do their best, but they have poor techniques. So the Remember Veteran Grave Markers is focused on developing good techniques, understanding how to clean properly. Now, there's always room for improvement, always room for understanding the state of the art. But wire brushes have no place, you know, in cleaning uh, metal uh, grave markers like the bronze ones or the or the. Um, you know the the granite or marble headstones. So I want to leave this leave you with this: is that be mindful of what you watch on YouTube. Even here, you know, if it's if you have a question about it, ask. Everything that I do, I try to source it from a uh, a reputable source. You know, where am I getting this idea? Who's saying this? Some of this is. Uh, from other uh, professionals that are in the in the organization, and these are available on the YouTube and also on the internet. The other ones are from the Department of Veterans Affairs, National Cemetery Administration, that says this is what you do. So I would ask you to source it out. So first things first. First, do no harm. Do no harm. Second, always ask the cemetery to do the work. Don't take it on yourself. Ask the cemetery if you can do the work. The third is that be proficient at what you do. 
if you're going to learn from YouTube, learn how that works and do it. Do the simple things first until you master them so that you can go into more complex things. But always, whenever, regardless of what it is, you need to talk and get permission from the cemetery. That's how things work. This, is, this allows you know, us as volunteers, and I'm a volunteer like you, the opportunity to be able to do more because people will see what we do and they'll say, well, why are you doing this? Well, because I want to do a good thing. Well, what do you follow? And I said, well, I follow these rules. For Remember Veteran Grave Markers, we have a, a book, you know, a booklet, that we show to our cemeteries to say, this is what we follow. This is how we do it. And that allows them a degree of comfort because they understand what we do, how we do it, why we do it. And um, I've not had anybody turn me down because of, because of that. But I can certainly see you know, if somebody can, if I came off the streets and said, "Hey, I'd like to clean your graves," they would go, "Who are you?" So this is this allows you to give something back, uh, develop a bona fides. If you go to my um, Facebook page on Remember Veteran Grave Markers Inc. RVGM Inc., uh, there is a uh, one of our our books in the file section shows you know what i'm doing so if you want to download that go ahead and do it there it's free take advantage of it i learn i share thank you very much this is jim phillips with remember veteran grave markers until next time take care <laughs>